Here we are, Thanksgiving, writing security notes and membership certificates for Purple Vu. Purple Vu is the diamond company. We won't put the names of the peoples, but Purple Vu. Then we're going through some check registers of some real debaucherous stuff. I mean, you know, I found out that some of the contractors were just girlfriends of some of the employees. And, and then Christmas bonuses, my God, 10,000 in Christmas bonuses. They weren't making a dime and nobody was doing their job. The jobs that they were doing was outsourcing by using my materials to do services on clients after hours. And paying people like this nurse here 1600 bucks every two weeks for never coming into work. I mean, it's quite amazing. I mean, they really, and then they, um, Amber Ward. Oh, Jesus Christ. It says 600, it says 6,000. But, I mean, if you look at some of these numbers here, I mean, it's like, you know, for some of the advertising and stuff. I mean, I never saw this. I mean, I had my car accident, and then, you know, and so it was really, oh, and then David, of course, gave himself some severance checks that he just wrote for himself. He knew I was coming up to fire him because I said, I will be up there in 30 minutes, and we need to talk. But he knew he'd pass the half a million dollar mark that I told him was in regard to how much it costs to train somebody to be a C-level person. And so, if you go over that, it's too much. And it's um, very interesting that I'm initialing checks paid without my signature or my own handwriting. And payroll, 1116, 1570 dollars. And then payroll, eleven twenty, fifteen hundred and seventy dollars. And then payroll, eleven twenty eight, fifteen hundred and seventy dollars. With a difference of one being sixty cents, one being, well, I guess that is a six, six. And then the other one's twenty. I guess he didn't carry it over very well when he was copying from one page to the other, and triple paying himself in one month. And then writing severance checks. On top of that, because he knew I was firing him, and he stole six thousand dollars worth of tools. And then, when you have, you know, that near fatal car accident, I mean, you can't really say it's fatal if you woke up from it. But, you know, I mean, this one was supposed to be getting maternity leave. There's no such thing as maternity leave in the in the beauty business. So, but David said you'd give me ten thousand. I said, well, how nice for David. David's fired because David fucked me on fucking half a million, and I told him I couldn't do it anymore. Then Michael Rosario, 17 years. Jesus Christ, 17 years with Tony and Guy and can move the world. And I just think he ran out of gas. They burnt him out. And then he got to my place and he was drinking too much tea with the other fucking faggot. And I wouldn't have said that if he wasn't dysmorphic. I mean, really. You know, when one afternoon you hear about your COO face-fucking some Chinese girl under the cameras in the actual wash sinks... Then the next day you go into the office and he's getting a blowjob from a $20 male photographer. You really wonder where the morality is of all this DL shit down here in Texas. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I mean, where I come from, you got to be a real man to be a faggot because people beat you. They fucking hate you anyway. You know I mean? Gay people are the only ones hated by everyone. White, yellow, black as well. You know, but, you know, if, if someone respects you, they respect you with the black community, and it's the same in any, any community as well, but Austin Lifestyle, $10,000. This stuff was not properly vetted. Inside Magazine, $2,000. I found out it was 2000 a month because it was in two magazines in the same place instead of 2000 for the month. And I was like, why are they always asking for a fucking check? I mean, really, they're the most annoying people. You write them a check, then they're asking for another one. They said, well, it's 2000 a month. I said, I never would have signed a contract 2000 a month. Never. And then AT&T, fuck AT&T, Jesus. I mean, this is a small one, but that's thousands and thousands. On Greater Texas Insurance, I suppose I should claim $50,000 worth of stuff stolen from me. Um, I could just call them then the comptroller, look at this. January 13th, 5800 January 15th, 5300 Isle of York, what the fuck is Isle of York? It's a bank, isn't it? Oh, robes. $1,925 worth of robes when we already had a surplus. And then this was in January. 
Why would you buy? Why would you buy more robes, especially of the same ugly brown to begin with? Anyway, I love looking at check registers. It's so fun. Austin lifestyle. Oh, that's some big ones. Oh yeah, Austin woman's media. Media. Hmm. How cute. Quite delightful that place. Yeah, Seventeen hundred here on this one. I bet there's a bunch more in here because she went to her goddamn wedding. And then they said, no, there's no collusion. Austin Woman's, another 1700 just a few days later. See when the big check comes in. I'm sure that they wrote a big one for something. At Austin Woman's because they had a close relationship, but, you know, it's a little hard when the Steiner Ranch community uh, doesn't want to give you a lease on an apartment because uh, your credit has been affected by a fatal car accident when you paid your Amex bill three days late. And it was sent to a charge off after 18 years, with credit being over 800, that immediately went to 655. So, there were a few other things that I was tending to, other than just my stuff stealing from me. Over and over and over. But, I guess that doesn't really matter because it more or less is terribly important to stay focused on what's going to happen, like with Purple Level and with the label. So, Krill is elective now. I am tired and I haven't um, actually showered yesterday, so I apologize for my parents. But, um, we're about to eat turkey here in a minute anyway. I think that, that was a good start to the message that I was going to talk about. Um, being part of um, working through, I guess, uh, this economy, as I see young people do. They've created, a, um, they've created another market, but the market is in trade. And, and the economy of trade is very strong in that group. And the youth group is very well united. Far more united than we ever were. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Every single kid that we know today can get in touch with 100,000 children within their own community within probably 30 minutes. I'd love to do a test on that. Just take five kids randomly, say, get a call back from 100,000 people and an email in 30 minutes and you get $10,000. Bet you every fucking one of them do it. They probably promise 10000 Every fucking one of them do, they'll only be able to buy pizzas. But it'd be pretty funny to do. I think we'll do it. Good. So Krilla's kids will have something to play with in their game of trade. But um, I've got some ideas in regard to banking for them that I think they'll enjoy. Cheers.